The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the homosexual comedian with the lowest voice on planet Earth, Mr. J. <laughs> Such a weird intro. I don't know anything else. I love it. Yeah. And I he, don't know anything else. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And he is also the two-time, two-time Funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Please mes- m- welcome the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. Yes, be mesmerized too. That's what mesmerized. I am. That's what I, I was. Am. That's what I was. I didn't even say. think it was possible to win twice. Yeah, well, you for you, you, you can't me. even win once. Yeah, I couldn't even win <laughs> <Yes>. once. That <laughs> sucks. Wow, wow that, that <laughs> shots fired. Yeah, yeah and like, he's got the hardware to prove it. That's true. Yeah, absolutely, I, mean, I got two bracelets that I never got. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get you a belt? No. Okay. Damn. I know some people. Yeah, I'm sure. Man, that's good. <laughs> I like be. the one that one guy made better. Uh, hey, it's right over there. Yeah, it's no, still, you, it's still you, good. You don't even. That's the one. This should go over there. That uh, should go. Okay. over Okay. All right. I'll see what that's I can do. That's relatable. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Anyways, uh, everybody, welcome in <laughs> <laughs> on today's decorating tips with Derek. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, welcome Who's in. Who's gay it. now, motherfucker? <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> uh, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy show where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and uh, inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use inappropriate language and uh, make a lot of people with thin skin very uncomfortable and pro- probably offended. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, yeah, we got a great show for you guys today. We got some headlines. It is the week before the Super Bowl. Obviously, we're going to talk a bunch of shit. Uh, we have Never Have I Ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, as always, a good draft. And to finish things off, we have a shitty situation that we do every week. Uh, but we like to start off every single episode with what has been happening happening to us over the last week or, or two. Uh, and because JP and my weeks kind of coincide with each other's, you guys have been inside each other? Uh, yeah. 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 All week. Apparently, all, all week. Nice. Yeah. All week. I couldn't. Yeah, we were like dogs. You know, he got, they got awesome. stuck and I couldn't get yeah. away. Man. Yeah. 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 It uh, is what it is. But Derek has not been on the show for two weeks. Uh, and so what have you been up to the last couple weeks, man? Not a fucking thing. That's sad. Oh, come on, I, JP. <laughs> I have been playing Avatar on PS4. So you're figuring it out then, I'm I guessing. did figure out one small thing that made a big difference though is it the one you talked about before where i was getting frustrated as fuck and just shooting all over the goddamn air yeah yeah i've I've got it figured out a little better okay so uh i've now got 80 hours in it jesus christ yeah that's all i've done (sighs) dude why do you do you really time yourself no No, it shows shows shows. you yeah Yeah, i I wasn't like fucking and time (laughs) yeah i can see i'm geared up for number three man i gotta (laughs) When I say go, start the timer. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, Derek on on Twitch uh, streaming probably be pretty in, entertaining. I Not mean, really. I, I just sit there and play. Uh, well, you don't sit there and say fuck every once in a while. No. Nah. Oh wow, yeah, that'd be no. boring as fuck. No. Uh, so yeah, I was I was doing that uh, pretty much all weekend, and then I started a show on Netflix that I fucking love. What Me is it? Too. Louder Milk. Oh, I haven't. It's I haven't. really it's good. Fucking fantastic! Yeah, I've got good. like six episodes left of the third of the last season they have on there. Hopefully, it's not the end. Yeah. But uh, it's fuck. It's amazing. I get that's something weird. I think a lot of people do that. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys like dread watching that last episode so you put yeah. it off for a while? No, no. I you do. just you go all the way through. I do. So, I yeah. do that. <clears throat> I know. I'll, I'll like when I get closer to the end, where where I know is the end. Yeah. 
I might like watch an episode or two and then shut it off and do something different or uh-huh. watch something different Same. just so I don't fucking run out. I did that with Ted Lasso. Oh, yeah. I dreaded the final episode so badly. Mm. I was like, fuck, I don't want it to be over. I like to start with the last one. That's smart. <laughs> That's <laughs> just good thinking. <laughs> work, work your way work back. Work your way back, yeah. <laughs> like a Quentin Tarantino yeah. movie. Yeah. It's like how you do a maze. You, just, <laughs> <laughs> you start at the end and then you work your way back. To- oh, okay. Yeah. You should see me do puzzles. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, I do them so fast. I bet you do. Uh, yeah. I bet you do. Yeah. I love puzzles. I, I just take that last piece and then all the rest in the box. Yeah. Start it with the just, end and then you just put. You, yeah. He's got frames all over his house with just one puzzle piece yeah. in them. Yeah. Fucking smoke this, that one. And I, this is the one I did back in ni- 2023. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be funny. My, my wife loves doing those things, and she'll have like this thing laid out on the table. And I'll walk up, and she's real intent and looking at everything. I was like, oh, right there. And I'll just grab a yeah. piece, and I'll put it where it doesn't go and just go. <laughs> <laughs> that one works. <laughs> I bet she likes that. She fucking hates it. <laughs> I can just see her wife's face right now. I'm, I'm, like, surpri- I'm surprised you don't just like when she's not looking just take a piece or two every now and then <laughs> put them in a cup somewhere so i guess there's a like a thing where people just trade puzzles when they finish oh, yeah. and i didn't know that was a thing and i told her uh, i was like i told a buddy i was like i really just want to like take one piece out right <laughs> when they, and they're like here you go yeah have fun make yeah. it a scavenger hunt to try to find that last piece yeah. too i yeah, would do that'd that that'd be fun oh yeah uh anything else at all no i just been uh jp and bowling that's it nice yeah. you, bow- you bowling okay Nope. Yeah, dude, he is. Nope. Dude, you're a fool, man. He's so fucking pessimistic and hard on himself. I bowled like shit last week. It depends on what kind of mood I am when I'm around him. Like, if I really am, like, proud of him or happy for him, I'm really proud and happy for him. But whenever he's down in the dumps, I kind of like watching him walk through chaos. It's kind of fun. Oh, come every Monday night. You can watch it. Yeah, (laughs) it is. It is a roller coaster of emotion. I fucking hate it. (laughs) Shit. Oh, well, that's... It's, it's Derek missing a 10-pin and fucking stomping off the lanes and throwing his wristband. <laughs> and every guy on the team going, it's all right, man. Get it back. You'll be all right. You'll yeah, get it next yeah. time. And Derek going, fuck, I will. I never get it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's like, uh, no. Uh, he reminds me of me. My job. <laughs> my job. You should see you. God damn it, Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to go throw this ball. (laughs) It's it's like you fuckers expect yourselves to be professionals. Derek hasn't bowled in like six or seven years before he did this year. Oh, longer than that. Yeah, or or however long it's been. And he comes out and he's bowling a decent average. He's one of the most consistent players on your team, which is what I've been told. Probably in the league. And and it's like you beat yourself up so badly and you're just naturally good at, I mean, it's fucking bowling, but big fucking deal. No, I'm not naturally good. But, But you, I mean, you beat the shit out of yourself so much mm-hmm. and you're good you're you're like good at comedy and you beat I'm yourself up. oh time out <laughs> great hold up comedy. man come on now let's not push it he no. beat himself up about that shit all the time too it's oh like, dude god damn it man he the first thing he said to me after he won that second time is i don't know fucking how man but i want it <laughs> yeah. i'm like yeah. what the fuck is wrong with I, you I man get a phone call and he's like i, I can't believe it dude yeah. I, I fucking won and i'm like i couldn't dude, believe it dude the picture i awesome. saw the look on his face was yes. just like you've got to be fucking kidding it's, me. It's, yeah. it's, it's the same one when he won wheel of fortune no no, like, no no that's, i was more surprised at that than wheel of fortune that was hangman for adults yeah that is i knew i had that yeah, yeah. Oh, i had geez. that manifested yeah whenever we went to try I out for that. Spoke it into existence. I know shit did. Like <laughs> I was like telling my wife, I was like, "Honey, look on the news. They said they're gonna have Wheel of Fortune out of the casino. Let's go win cash and prizes." Yeah, I <laughs> love like, cash and prizes. And she's like, "You're an idiot." And then it kept going. I'm like, "Hey, we're going to the casino tomorrow. We, we got to. You got to. You're only gonna get like five hours of sleep because I know you're gonna get home at like three in the morning, but." Uh, we got to go win cash and prizes. Yeah. And that's what I kept saying. And then I got selected. And I was like, I told you, cash and prizes. <laughs> and then I win. And I was like, cash and prizes. <laughs> <laughs> you like that cash and prizes? You like it? Uh, have, a, have a horse lamp. <laughs> uh, well, shit, man. It's it's good to have you back. Uh, believe it or not, I do miss you. 
Uh, you should watch Louder Milk. Okay, I will. It's a fucking good. I, I tell you what, I actually do take your suggestions seriously. If you say, hey, this is really good, I, I generally take it to heart and actually look into what you... And then I watch it, and then I said, God, he's a fucking idiot. He's wrong. Did you but, ever watch Office Space? Yeah, oh, yeah. The guy, the main character is the main character from Office Space. Oh, perfect. He's great. He's fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. It's, it's a yeah, great, he's, it's a he's great, great show. Oh, God. Uh, all right. <laughs> JP... Uh, how was your week, man? It was good, man. Yeah. Uh, I got my car back. You fixed my shit. No, we need to, uh, there's, there's so much more to it. Oh, there's a lot more to fix. Oh, oh no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there, there oh, is, a, there is. There that is. warranty's paying for the warranty help. paid, the warranty paid for everything that got fixed. Hold on because a second. I wasn't paying for anything else. The warranty has already paid for itself. Oh, hundred percent. Scotty does. Good idea, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, that, it helps me too, by good. the way. Oh yeah. Uh, but, but that warranty has already paid for itself. So, oh, I know it has. So it's doing a good job. Yeah. But uh, for those who don't know, uh, JP's car was leaking coolant like a fucking sieve, if you didn't know that already. It was. He was carrying around fucking gallons of coolant <laughs> I, I in his... I still have half a gallon. <laughs> he or does. half a thing. He does. Yeah, it's in your driveway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not yet. Not quite yet. Not yet. It's on its way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was leaking so badly that he, uh, he needed help very quickly. And I, I, it shocks me how much you were probably spending on coolant. It as, was too much. As broke as you were. Yeah, dude. Uh, it but, was too much. But yeah. So, Thanks for throwing the broke part in. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just, You're a good guy. I mean, the comedy scene doesn't pay very well. No. Just throwing it out there. No, it does not. Um, but anyways. So uh, I am looking for a sugar daddy. You are. I am. Uh, but yeah, you still have stuff that needs to be fixed. The warranty didn't cover. Son of a bitches. But it's still drivable. Oh, yeah. Man. Kind of. It's No, it's drivable. I mean, yeah. Safe. Mm Ish. Tires. Bad I need man. to get the tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the next one. Yeah. And then the rear seal. Is that what those yeah. were? I She's thought they were wire leaky. brushes. I didn't know they were they, tires. They look like wire <laughs> brushes. Sure yeah, 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 let me tell you. Uh, but pretty impressive. So uh, anyways, uh, you, uh, I put you in a rental car. Yeah. Why? So that way there's no hindrance. Hated it. I, I know you hit. No, I, but I, dude, it's, it's the first, well, first time that this is my third or fourth rental car from you. Yeah. Th this is the worst one. I, it I was know. the worst. That's okay. What was it? It kept doing weird shit. It, it was a Ford. It was an escape. 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 Yeah. With auto start. I don't like the other. I know. Story. Yeah, and it only did it like for the first two days. It didn't do any weird shit. When you go to a stoplight, it shuts itself right. off. Right, but yeah. then all of a sudden it started doing it. And I've had a car with auto start before. I'm not bragging, <laughs> just saying. Uh, anyway, so I knew what it was doing or whatever. But I was like, why now? Why after two days of driving the son of a bitch does it decide it wants to do it? And then the headlights, you know, the auto headlights. Oh, yeah, yeah. The first two days never did a fucking thing. Then all of a sudden they started fucking working, and all this all this shit just started doing extra shit. And maybe I'm like, it's you, yeah. <laughs> maybe. maybe it's you. Maybe that's the problem. You know what, man? I'm fucking glad I came over here tonight. <laughs> so, uh, so believe it or not, uh, there are people that I work with. By that the way, stay the fuck away from my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Don't, Don't even it, look at it. We'll give it gremlins. Uh, but no, so believe it or not, people that I work with touch it. actually do listen to the show on yeah. a regular basis. And JP accidentally slipped up on the show and uh, mentioned on the last episode what so happened to be in his glove, glove box. box. <laughs> and if you let, <laughs> first of all, uh, even when men become adults. Oh, we're still kids. We're still kids at oh, heart. Oh, yeah, for but sure. But when you tell people like that, that there are two very small fake dicks in your glove box. Yeah. One of them ends up on your dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> Duck to the radio, radio. touchscreen. Yeah. Nice. Right yeah. when he picks it up from, yeah. from, from my dealership. So, <laughs> so, of course, it took me like an extra 20 minutes to get out of there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, oh, God damn, I got an interlock in my car. I got to blow up this thing to get it to start. <laughs> no, he was actually trying to do like DDP yoga in order to uh, make Oh, yeah. work in oh, there yeah, it was yeah, awesome but, uh but it was pretty damn funny yep uh, you know how hard it is to drive face in the back window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's doable though yeah uh but the funny part to me was after jp left he obviously had to turn in the the rental car and we have a manager who runs the rental car facility who oh, no. 
immediately got in after oh, Jamie no. turned that dude, thing in. And it's crazy because I swear I did not smoke in it, bro. They, oh, he dude, called you smell me, of it constantly. He, ca- he calls me up. Apparently. He calls me up. He's like, dude, isn't this your friend? I was like, I knew immediately when he called me what he was going to say. He's like, did he smoke weed in this car? I was like, no, he didn't smoke in it. I know for a fact Damn he didn't it. smoke in it. He just smells like weed it's like he just bathes in marijuana smoke. which i do i mean i know i mean and you know i smoked right before i came up there and my coat is laying in my room like yeah. dude my all my clothes smell like pot i I'm know sure because i smoke in my room and so. it's and it's totally fine but i just thought it was funny dude i got out he, of the car and scotty just like he <laughs> he's like <laughs> Hey, man, did you smoke in there? And I was like, dude, I did it. I was like, D-. and I'm like, does it really stink? I'm like, I have no fun. I can't smell it. I told him, I was like, no, it doesn't stink. It smells delicious, but yeah, no. But it's just, no, it, it, it smells, definitely, and I was like, like oh, I, it's got to be my it's hoodie. It's got to be my hoodie. No, I think it's just it's just become part of your genome in your dude. pores. That's what it is. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. <laughs> <laughs> man, you guys are making me sound really good, and I appreciate that. Hey, man. Hey. Oh. You know what? Whatever makes you happy. But anyway, so anyway, he called and you said I said no. I said absolutely not. He did not smoke in it, and and eventually it got and taken care of. I just said open the doors and and roll down the windows. It'll eventually be fine. And it was. It was fine. But he fucked with me, and he was just like, dude, I've rented this. I tried to rent this car twice after your friend got out of it, and they're complaining of. Weed. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No way. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, but he was fucking with me. He really did. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I've saved them some heartache then because that car sucked. <laughs> there you go. I guarantee I'll get that car from every now on oh, if one, it's available. 100%. He's like, nope, that's yours now. That's yours. It yeah, smells like it you. Smells that's like, yours. Okay. Anyways. Fantastic. But I, that's part of our, our week. But did you do anything else at all? Uh, yeah, bold. Yeah. Played video games. Uh, a buddy of mine, like probably my best friend, uh, had a heart attack. Oh, no. And... Uh, Turns out he's fine. Um, That's good. He had a replacement valve already from almost 10 years ago to the day, which is crazy. Wow. Uh, um, and they said the valve looks great. You know, it was no big deal. There's a blood clot, but they're giving him, you know, stuff to get, oh, take yeah. care of that. So thank God he's all right. And uh, I've been watching this new show on Netflix. Here, put the mic closer to your face. I've been can... uh, watching a new show on Netflix. There you go. And uh, it's called Heartstopper. But you shouldn't watch it because it's a gay show. <laughs> and, and it's like uber gay. It's like high school boys love uh. and one guy's in the closet. It's just shit I can relate to. And it's funny because the, the gayest dude has a crush on the rugby dude. And the rugby dude's name is Nick Nelson. And I went to school with a guy named Nick Nelson who was also a redhead who I had a huge crush on. Turned out being gay? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, darn. Well. But... Don't want to fuck him anymore. I saw a picture not too long ago. <laughs> Gained a little weight. <laughs> we all have. Yeah, no, not yeah. me. Oh, that's true. You're I'm still sexy as fuck. <laughs> See, gay guys are always thing. sexy. Yeah, that is what we or, do. Sexy. I meant skinny. <laughs> See? What the fuck? <laughs> that's what happens when you spend all week around <laughs> a gay right. guy. Yeah, I guess so. That's what I've been sending happening. subliminal messages. <laughs> Turns out when Scotty was putting something in the back seat, that dildo <laughs> yeah. just shot right out of his ass and stuck uh, to the screen. Stuck there. <laughs> yeah. I thought it smelled uh, funny. Rocket fire. It smelled like Derek's microphone. For what it's worth, you don't know many, like, they exist, but many overweight gay guys, it always seems to be they're always oh, no, skinny. They're, no, no, no. Oh, really? Let me take you out to the bar one time. No, nah, I'm good. No, come on. Come nah, out with me. Dude, You'll love it. Dude, I've got an I'm, outfit I'm, you I'm, can I'm, wear. I'm sure you do, but no, thank you. I'm out. got a little ball and a strap. <laughs> oh, God. It's latex. You'll be uh, fine. Uh, no. Yeah, no, thing thank you, you, you wore on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, same. You're, it's like your Thanksgiving outfit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, but that's it, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Not much going on. He even had a little gobbler down there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like Zoidberg. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, uh, I do want to I do want to say thank you to all the people that listened to last week's episode and left very nice comments uh, about my wife. Uh, she came uh, my in. wife, my wife. Uh, she came in on the show, and and you know what? She was really nervous. To be honest with you guys, uh, she was kind. She felt like she was kind of pressured into doing the episode. That's weird. Yeah, but I even asked her. I said, "What are you up to it?" And she said, "Sure." And and I, I think she did a great job. But it really it was pretty cool. She read a lot of your comments and stuff like that of saying like you know she did a great job and stuff like that and how you guys can't believe that i married to a woman like that 
But uh, thank you very much for for leaving those comments. Uh, she appreciates it. So I want to say thank you to get you guys. Um, over the last week, uh, I did have a, a fun filled trip. Uh, I, I, not a trip, but the guys that I go on the ski trip with or the snowboard trip with, uh, came up to do some last minute shopping. And so we got to go and hang out for like four fucking hours at the snowboard and ski shop here in Wichita, Kansas in flat Wichita, Kansas. Yes. Is that the slope? The slope. I was going to say, I didn't think there was another one. Give him some free pub. Uh, it's a, it's believe it or not. It's actually a pretty awesome place. And and it, it makes sense here. The dude that owns it is badass. He's a bad motherfucker. Dude. He's yeah. badass uh, for sure. Uh, but it actually does it's make Nick sense. Nelson. Turned out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nick Nelson. Um, but no, it, it makes sense because a lot of people here, you either go to the beach or you go to the mountains. It's one or the other. And so they basically set it up to where you can get rentals and stuff. And they have a pretty decent selection. And one of my, one of the guys I'm going with dropped a lot of money on brand new skis and poles and, and bindings and shit. Uh, but it, it was like the very few times where I get to go and speak my language about something I love with people who know the same shit that I'm talking about. So that's awesome, man. Good not for gonna, you. I'm not going to bore you with it. I just wanted to mention that. Dude, I think but, I could fuck Scotty if I took him to the ski shop. <laughs> I, I mean, if uh, as payment, like, maybe. Yeah. They were all just out front talking about bindings. <laughs> yeah, right. Scotty's like, check this binding out. Oh. <laughs> Happy <No>. Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, no, uh, but that was a lot of fun. I got to hang out with them. It was that's a great cool. time. But the the coolest thing i have not been there before uh since they came into town and that was b and c's b and c's barbecue uh have you been there in town since they came to town no since since the ski trip guys came up i i had never been we went You've all together never been to b and c never been to b and c's no. really there's I, a lot better barbecue out there buddy and here's my thing but for barbecue for barbecue i thought for the time we had it wasn't a buffet or anything like that it was straight it was very very good it's still not better when, than when pigs fly. Oh, not even close. No. Or is it better than fucking two brothers? I think it's way better than two brothers. Nor is it better than pig in, pig out. Definitely better than pig in, no pig way. out. No Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not even it close. It was fucking phenomenal. It really was. It was Dude, good. Have you been to pig in and pig out? Yeah. Yeah. And you think that B and C is mm -hmm. better? That's why. You, yeah. You when pigs fly, in my opinion, when is pigs best. fly, is, is uh, the best. Have you, but dude, it's way a little expensive, but Station 8's fucking phenomenal. Never been to Station 8. Dude, it's pretty good. Phenomenal. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you know this kind of, this is more your forte, but, and I'm not a big barbecue. Yeah, yeah fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't yeah. even meaning that. <laughs> I was just saying you eat more barbecue than I do. It's normally not something I genuinely like. Yeah. Okay. I go very, very rarely. Uh, BNC is not my favorite at all. The fucking pulled pig and cheese at when pigs fly is like the fucking bomb.com. Um, but I went there and had, and it was good. I had a really good time. Um, and with all those guys and, uh, you know, that I got great service when I was there. So uh, hats off to them and I, I'm, you know, whatever. Uh, but, uh, moving on to the next thing, I uh, wanted to try to give you guys as much of a heads up as possible. Uh, because I am going on that ski trip, generally what ends up happening is I try to do like a like a best of episode over the last uh, year or two or whatever it's been. Um, I may not do that this year. For those of you guys who do not know, it takes for fucking ever to put one of those episodes together. I thought about doing it, but it's a shitload of work. And, and also the results are pretty lackluster. Oh no, the best uh, the best episode we've ever had was, was one of those one of those episodes. Oh, yeah. It's called the greatest podcast episode of all time, um, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, it's a lot of work, and so uh, we are debating on right now on because the the theater or the the realistic part of it is if we do the episode, we would have to record over the weekend, which. I'm not an idiot. I know that when we have these episodes, you guys don't turn the episode on to listen to me blabber and talk. You listen to these guys and the comedians are the ones who make the show. Uh, and I understand that they also have lives like Derek. He can't be on every single episode, but not me. <laughs> JP on the other hand, every single one. <clears throat> but uh, I understand that you guys have your favorites. Uh, that makes perfect sense. I, I look at them like my kids. So that means that, I also have a favorite, and it's JP. Yeah, I think I'm up to like six now. <laughs> yeah, so. Think, but Derek's the one you should have left in a basket at the firehouse. <laughs> <laughs> He's been also one of my oldest friends I've ever had. But uh, we, we will. We we'll, use we'll that figure, term friend loosely. <laughs> acquaintance, fine. That's better. Okay. Uh, but w when we get closer to it, I'll try to let you guys know. Uh, I will try to figure something out, but we, we I'm the only one out of all of us that has never had an episode off. 
this is something that I really enjoy doing and I, I want to put content out for you guys, but there is definitely a possibility for the last, uh, the last week of February, we leave, uh, we leave Tuesday night, which is when we normally record. Yeah. So it may be tough. I'll let you know with as much of a heads up as possible. You just leave a key under the mat and, uh, We'll come record on our own. Good luck having hit this fucking idiot try to figure out the buttons. Oh, no. That's why we got Jeremy. Oh, good luck having that guy figure out the fucking buttons. <laughs> God, as soon as, I Black said what his, I said. as soon as Black History Month's over, you go do the whitest fucking thing ever <laughs> and go skiing. To celebrate. No, <laughs> you're to you're like, all right, I got the year back. <laughs> what are like, a whole bunch of the guys that I go with are, uh, are Mexican. Does that count? No. That's, that's a not different, the same. That's a whole it's different a whole kind different, of snow. Yeah. Nah, they're not white. A whole white. different kind of snow. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> they're going to want you to put it up your butt <laughs> on the plane. I'm just letting you know now. We're driving the whole way. They're, here, <laughs> put this balloon up your ass. <laughs> we'll get it back later. Uh, but there, there's a, a movie I was talking back when the mule first came out. Dude, I would make a good drug mule. Can you imagine how much shit I could bring over? <laughs> Dude, Too you didn't have to put the whole dildos full. You didn't have to put the whole suitcase up there. You can go <laughs> you like baggy by baggy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but no, when the mule first came out with Clint Eastwood, uh, my buddy thought he had found it like streaming, mm-hmm. like illegally or whatever. Like, you told me this. Yeah, thing. and it, he's like, dude, I, found, I thought I was watching it. And I'm like an hour in or 45 minutes in, and there's still no Clint Eastwood. And I'm like. This is what? What am I watching? This has got to be. He's got to be in any minute now. And then it turns out it wasn't. It was an earlier movie called The Mule, from like I want to say early two thousands or something. And it's a dude that swallows a bunch of heroin and then freaks out whenever he gets to like to TSA or yeah. whatever. <laughs> and so then they just figure out what's going on and they just sit there and wait for him to shit in a hotel room. <laughs> And it's I I had to watch it. I had to watch <laughs> it. So now I'm like I gotta check this out. It's <laughs> it's if you like sh- shitty movies like like just cra- like B rate fucking it's, it's it's worth the watch. Yeah. Okay. yeah. God damn it. Called the mule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but totally different premise, especially when he shits when one of the guards is asleep. And then swallows the balloons again. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounds like something JP would do voluntarily. Oh my goodness, Dude, it's fantastic. Anyway, wow. Well, we've got who's a, hungry? Yeah, who's yeah. hungry? No, not me. Uh, but anyways, now we can move on to the Tell headlines. All of a sudden, I feel like B and C's. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Uh, we can move on to the headlines for this week. Uh, again, friends of the show, unfortunately, are passing away this yeah. week. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Uh, passed away. Actually, Carl Weathers died in Rocky IV. <laughs> this I is, don't know if you remember this, this or not, but true. the Russian killed him. <laughs> that's true. Carl Weathers. Yeah. Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed, Creed man. Yeah, that's and, crazy. Uh, that sucks. And a whole bunch of other great roles that he actually did. Um, I know he did some Star Wars. Chubbs. Chubbs. That that yeah. was the one I was thinking Chubbs of. Peterson. Chubbs Peterson. He was in uh, Predator. That's my uncle. Yes. Oh, yeah. So now whenever what, Predator? No, Chubbs oh. Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> predator is what I am. <laughs> I see the resemblance. Yes. Predator is what I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but really sad uh, that he passed away. He will be missed. Uh, but man, Toby Keith. Yeah, today, today huh? Uh, that's great. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I love Toby Keith. If you like country music and you don't like Kobe, I like Toby Keith. Old so Toby Keith. Old Toby New Keith. New Toby Keith can suck a dick. I I like him. America I, Toby Keith. I'm that no. guy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like that Toby no. Keith. Two, um, two first names is enough for me. Uh, I don't I don't know for sure, but His middle I, name I, is I, Trent. I, I, oh, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, because I was gonna guess it was actually Keith. Yeah, <laughs> but Toby I don't know. Keith Keith. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, sad days for all friends of the show. It's rest in peace. It's Queef. Oh, Toby Queef Keith. Ooh. Fine. Um, Meef, 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 Meef. I think Meef will work. Yeah. Uh, next uh, thing, uh, the Atlanta-based rapper and uh, and activist uh, Killer Mike was arrested on a misdemeanor battery charge at the Grammy Awards ceremony Sunday night. Anybody watch that? No, no but Dude, that what? is unacceptable. Dude. You're Killer Mike, and you're on a misdemeanor <laughs> battery charge. Yeah, <laughs> that should at least be second degree manslaughter. He won like three Grammys. They allowed him to win the three Grammys and then arrested him. 
And I guess he's already out on like zero dollar bond. Oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, so that basically tells me he fucking bitch slapped somebody is yeah. what it sounds Something like. Something stupid. Something stupid. But like, really? Arrest? Come I'm on. no longer calling him Killer Mike. No. I'm now going to call he's him Misdemeanor Mike. <laughs> misdemeanor yeah. Mike. Yeah. 100%. That is, that is a name change. Everybody needs to get Misdemeanor behind. Mike. I can't wait for his <laughs> debut album. <laughs> Uh shit. Anyways. Hey, I didn't know this next one. Uh, yeah, it's actually going to be kind of fun. Dude. Uh, at least some comedy news. Uh, you got to get that out there. Shane Gillis was fired from Saturday Night Live in 2018. And this weekend, he will actually host. Not the, this weekend. Is it, I thought it was this weekend. Nope. February 25th. Oh, I do apologize. Oh, while well, you're on vacation. Well, or. Uh, right before. God damn it. Yeah, it'll be right, right before. before. Right before. I, I'll be able to see it. Yeah. But he's going to host Saturday Night Live. And oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot it's gonna of fun. It's going to be phenomenal. I hope so many fucking people tune in. Oh, and yeah. I hope that they fucking hire him. I, I They'd don't. They'd be stupid. No. Oh, no. He's, no. Too, he's, big, he's, he's too, too, big too big to now. Be he's now. too big now. 100%. He just got a uh, huge deal from Bud Light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's bringing Bud Light back uh, <laughs> with, with him in the UFC. <laughs> From, from the from, he's trying from anyway. The depths of hell. <laughs> <laughs> they went. They went, stupid trans. <laughs> they went from that to oh, now giving no. it to Shane Gillis, who okay. I think is well. The exact. Don't opposite. forget about Peyton Manning and fucking Emmett Smith. Uh, I didn't even remember. I didn't you didn't see, see ever seen that commercial? Well, they, it's new. They go uh, into the bar and oh, yeah. he's like, "I'll take uh, four Bud Lights," and he looks around. And he's like. Make it around for the bar, and then him and Emmett Smith start oh, yes. throwing them out I like passes. I did see that. I did yeah, see that. So. But uh, I just think it's funny. But the best part about the the Saturday Night Live thing is everybody everybody who hosts the show comes on and gives like a like a monologue to open up Saturday Night Live. I want his to fucking just just destroy shit. him. Oh, yeah. just beat the shit out of him. I think it. But be look, so he's great. the first one to admit he gets it. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. He's like, I can't believe I ever got it in the first place. <laughs> well, and then the other thing was, is that it was like they they fired him because of a podcast that he, he had done three years before. Oh, yeah, and it was like one episode, and they it, it was canceled. Didn't even take a whole episode. No, they, they watched like ten minutes exactly. of it. They're like, this isn't going to no, work this out. Is not we don't even out. need to look any further. Could you imagine what they would have? That's what he was like. Could you imagine what they would have found if they'd have dug? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. oh shit! <laughs> it's like so if. It, uh, one of us ever get hired for Saturday Night Live? Don't expect to be uh, never. Yeah, don't expect to be on. I, yeah, I haven't been. It used excited. to be my dream. Yeah. Yeah, and then I started doing the show, <laughs> and I was like, God dang, it's that. I, much, it's, yeah, it's way better. I, I'm like, I'm like, there. I mean, it would be just like a step backwards for me now. One hundred percent, absolutely for sure. Yeah, I haven't been this excited since uh, Dave Chappelle first hosted, like his first one. Oh. I was like, oh fuck yeah! yeah. So yeah. I was downstairs because I watch it every week. And I was downstairs, uh, that makes like sense. Sunday or Monday or yeah. Sunday, I think, watching it during the day because I record it. And my yeah. wife was like, "You okay?" And I said, "Yeah." She goes, "I just heard you go, Shane Gillis." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm pumped." <laughs> yeah. Dude, we made Saturday Night Live uh, weekend update. Oh, we did. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, you I didn't was like, see it. Fucking great. It was one. hilarious. Michael Che uh, was talking about the Jackie Robinson statue that was. Oh stolen. fuck! He, he, <laughs> he said it was it was dismembered, burnt. And then shot by police because he wouldn't <laughs> drop the bat. <laughs> <laughs> that, was fucking, that was the best joke of the whole fucking weekend update. It's awesome. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, I didn't uh, even I didn't even think about talking about this, but it wasn't where I work. But did you hear about the other Ford dealership that caught on fucking fire? Well, Steven's on it? Mm, uh, no. Okay. Oh, well, no, that doesn't make it. sense. Then. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was like insurance fraud. But no, it was actually in like the service department. That bitch caught on fucking no fire. Shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It I turns out somebody parked a Toyota in there. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Uh, but yeah, it burned, uh, burned a lot of that service department. But anyway, uh, next <sighs> thing we got to get to. There was tons and tons and tons of you that sent this to us. Believe us, we catch the same shit that you guys do. Uh, but they wanted us to talk about it. So Patrick Mahomes Sr. arrested for his third DWI over the weekend. Uh, court records show he had 11 other incidents involving uh, involving himself in traffic violations or others. Um, he now faces a third-degree felony charge with the potential of, of up to 10 years in prison. Uh, it, he ended up having absolutely no bond or travel restrictions, meaning he will be able to attend the Super Bowl to watch his son play. How about that? Money. Isn't it crazy what it's it does? It's fucking nuts how yeah, that shit money works. Money and fame. Ah. Oh. 
It's great. I wish I had any either. Uh huh. <laughs> I would take either, really. I, I I do that. I'm in jail now. Yeah, oh, still. Oh, yeah. You know, for sure. Still, I, I might not have got out the last. I was going to no. say you yeah, may not what, have taken the. Yeah. That's what I said. Still, just just still permanently. In fact, and probably. dude, he could take an Uber anywhere he wants. For, anywhere. Yeah, it I doesn't mean, matter. Yeah, but this is you know apparently, how old men are, and you try to take their car keys. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Like drunk guys are when you try to take our car keys. Yeah, exactly. You're not driving. This is I'm his, fine. <laughs> this is his third DW. I can't say DWI. It's his third DUI. Yeah. Right. But this is his eleventh incident. Here's once you thing, get man. once you get your first one, you can Here's start the calling thing, them dude. Deweys. Deweys. Once you get your first one, okay. You can, then Here's, you can say Dewey. I. If I got pulled over every time I drove, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying I'd have a lot more than 11 incidents, <laughs> <laughs> especially if they could sense the marijuana. Yeah. Like, oh, they can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's tests for it now. I'm guessing. I'm assuming my car smells like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just assuming because I do smoke in there. I believe you do. Uh, Hot box the shit out of it. I should just go up to that. I should just come up to the dealership tomorrow and go find that guy and be like, come here. Yeah. Open my, Open car, my door. car door. That's what it smells like when I smoke in the vehicle. <laughs> Dude, but, but you pull in on the drive, open the door, and then it's just like fucking fog just comes out of that shit. I, I think if JP just wasn't smoking weed and just casually took a stroll where they train police dogs, <laughs> he would get mauled. Oh, for sure. <laughs> like, that for would be sure. It. Like all of them just fucking jump to JP. Dude, when I easy. die and they cremate me, those guys are in for a fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, it's part of your DNA now. Yeah. Uh, and last but certainly not least, oh, dear Lord, baby Jesus, please let the fucking 49ers win the Super Bowl. I can't take this shit. I'm, I can't I, take this shit. I'm not going to watch it. I, Dude, I, I hope that. I, I hope he wins. No. I hope the Chiefs win. No. I know. Dude, I know you hate it, but. I can't take this shit. I hope they win. Dude, I, I think. They, they're I going think, to. They're, I, go, I, they're I, going to. It's uh, already written will. in the script. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's Here we go. There. I didn't think we'd ever get there with Scotty, but he got there. I, I'm there. We may never watch I'm the there. NFL again if Maybe. they win. I, I, I mean. Mm. I will say this. If they earn it, I will continue watching it. But if it's on some bullshit call, like, like, like it has been, like, like it has been. Year, yeah. yeah. If it, if it becomes that, I may not. And I'm, and my team is the team that I'm rooting for is starting to be good. And, and I can't help but love that team, but I hate, I don't, here's the thing. I don't necessarily hate all of the chiefs players. I can't stand their fans because they're everywhere here and they're all Dicks, or at least a large majority of them are. No, they weren't the draft, too. I I believe it. It's just, it's so much. It's, act like you've been there before. You've had fucking three. I mean, I don't get it. And they're dicks to other teams. Uh, I mean, I don't want him to get anything. The guy, now, now granted, Patrick Mahomes, while he is probably going to someday be considered the best quarterback oh. of all time, I get that. For He's sure. not there yet, but I get that. He surrounds himself, other than Travis Kelsey, with shit people. I, I mean, that's just what he does. And I, I just, oh, it's so Jeez, it's frustrating. It's called loyalty. He made, a, he made a quote today, something about uh, along the lines of, if I have to be like the other team's villain, then I'm ready for that. Or something along those lines, don't quote me. But, but it's like, yeah, you've already become that. I rooted for him for his first one. I really did. I did too. I mean, most people did. It was a good story. And now it's kind of gotten to the point because you got his wife. Travis Kelsey's a piece of shit. I like too. Travis I and Jason. Travis. I like Travis and Jason. I do. Uh, but I, I mean, the other thing is, is, is you've got Brittany and Jackson and now his dad. And Jackson. it's just like, fuck, why that's do the bad family. guys win? I know that's all family. He can't even get out of that. Yeah. But Brittany, he decided to marry yeah, that. That was a mistake. Wow. And have kids yeah. with it. Now you're really tied down. Please yeah. tell me you got a prenum before you got married, dog. I doubt it. Oh, I she's doubt got it, too. A, she's got her own money. Uh, I don't, she's got... No, dude. She's, she's related she's, to some mob. No, she's got that fucking... Uh, TikTok account? TikTok account <laughs> that's gone fucking ballistic. And she's got money, dude. She's got plenty of money. Yeah. Well, whatever. All I'm all she's I'm still hoping, a dumb bitch, but she has her own money. I am totally rooting for Brock Purdy, George Kittle, and Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> if anybody deserves a Super Bowl, it's Christian McCaffrey. He's the best running back in the NFL. He deserves every bit. I'm I hope so badly. In fact, I am I'm rooting for the San Francisco 49ers not to just beat the Chiefs. I hope they Destroy. beat the fuck out of them. 
I, and I know if this is not going to happen because I'm not lucky, the Chiefs are going to win by, I'm going to go two. I'm going to go two. Over uh, under two. Field goal. It would probably be a field goal. Okay. That's what's going to happen, but. It'll be just like last year. And I'll be depressed and on suicide watch for at least a week. So, All anyways, right. that is the current events for this week. I uh, hope you guys have a happy Super Bowl party wherever you guys are going to watch it. Be safe. Don't be stupid. And don't get a TUI like Patrick Mahomes Sr. did. I do have a feeling that this is going to be one of the lower watched Super Bowls of the last probably 10 years. I think you're right. I don't think anybody really wants to see this matchup. I'm not, if it would have been the Lions, I would have probably watched it. Mm-hmm. If it would have been the Ravens, I might have watched it. But I don't think anybody wanted either of these two teams. So I think it's going to be not the most watched put it that way i I feel like maybe this will be up there with the eagles and the patriots the year that nick Foles went to the one and one yeah that was a low one oh really i watched Uh the shit out of that one and rooted for nick Foles the whole time uh but anyways now let's move on to the fun stuff part of the show let's move on to never have i ever guys thank you very much for monday fun day you had a shitload of them that were actually really good believe it or not (laughs) <laughs> I'm shocked. No, hold on. No, that's what I'm saying. Believe it or not, there are no Taylor Morosky questions on what or, or anything on this episode. Was she busy? No, I just, you know, I I, I much respect to her and her questions, but we're I, sick of them. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. But I gave some other okay. folks some Good. shots. And so I, I think that You know, I think you're hung up on this dev dev. No, he he's just, on every one. No, he just has 30 of them every week. Well, he's on every show. <laughs> well, you know what? It is what it I'm is. Gonna That's look actually, this guy up. It's actually Danny DeVito. That's what it is. <laughs> That's who it is. Dude, I wish. <laughs> I would so fucking try to hang out with that dude. Ah. Anyways, let's move on to Never Have I Ever. First one comes in from Christian George. He wants to know, never have I ever lied on a medical form. Okay. So I can't believe I'm even going to talk about this. Oh, boy. But does this count? (laughs) So I used to work at a place, and it was a really shitty job, Mm. and I wanted some time off, but I didn't have any. Mm. I was fairly new. And so I told them my grandpa died. And then I forged one of those little prayer cards. (laughs) And, like... Like, my grandpa died, like, 10 years before this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, it was horrible, man. It was awful. And I forged it. And is that the same thing? No, no. I think... Well, I, then I take it back. <laughs> so, I, I, I was thinking, like, whenever you have the options, male, female, or other, that you just select other. That I other. just select other, yeah, you're a I real figured. piece of shit. <laughs> I'm a man, and I'll prove it to I you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've been stuck together this last yeah, week, remember? Yeah, oh yeah. By uh, forged it, I like to think that he just like colored an eye patch on his grandpa. And he's <laughs> like, it's my other I grandpa. Couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself. <laughs> oh. I couldn't bring myself to like use his actual picture. Yeah. All the other information other than the date was pretty well the same. Yeah. But I couldn't bring myself to use his picture. So we found some random internet picture of this guy from Scotland. <laughs> like, <laughs> he had one of those beret hats on and fucking it was crazy. I it think, was crazy. I think every single one of us out there has at one point or another made up the excuse of, Dude, uh, that my, my relative. But I went so far died. as to fucking fake a prayer card <laughs> so that I had proof. <laughs> oh, and my God. I really think probably that's why God is smiting me. Oh no! Right I, now. Think, I think I think that's part of it. I think grandparents are are, are cool, and I bet you they're like, "Hey, hey, he used me as an excuse this time." Yeah, well. Pretty dope. Uh, but yes, I have definitely lied on the medical form, and it was at one point in time. It was uh, how much would you say you drink per day? Uh, okay, I get that, but yeah, yeah. I just just three beers, three beers. I never lied. I don't think I don't think I've ever like put yeah. Yeah, no do, reason. Do you partake in marijuana? Oh, yeah, I answer yes, because Good obviously job. they smell me when I come in. <laughs> they, they, like, yeah. uh, sir, you lied right here. Yeah. You need to check yes. Yeah. How about you, Derek? No, I haven't really had a reason to. I just, really? I mean, no, if I want Not even to, underweight? Nope. Oh. No. They weigh you when you walk back there. I don't have to write that down. <laughs> the first thing they do is check your height and weight. I imagine if he did, though. And then I always be- say... <laughs> 130. And I always make the stupid dad joke where it's like, you get, you, you're you supposed to take 50 pounds off for like coat and shoes, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's that's no funny. Shit. Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know, never I ha- I'm sorry, never have I ever been caught by your significant other masturbating. I'm so scared of JP's answer. I'm so terrified. They do it together. (laughs) No, I was going to say, 
does it count if he's asleep and you're masturbating him? Oh. And then he wakes up and catches you. No. Because I've done that. Okay. But yes, also, I've been caught masturbating by my significant other. Obviously, I do it all the goddamn time. Yeah. Well, that's all you can do anymore. Right now. That's training. That was training. Yeah. You were training, is I what you training. were training. Yeah, that's what yeah. you were doing. Yep. I'm a sad sack. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, for sure. No, no, no. Really? No. Absolutely. You wait till she's gone. One hundred percent. And you do it like a dirty little boy. And well, no, I you did. Dirty I, little I don't, boy. I don't. You got caught watching porn once. I did get caught oh. watching. Oh. Yeah, I have done that. Nice. Uh, but I no. If if it's going down, I'm either locked somewhere in the bathroom, <laughs> or or that that woman is nowhere in oh, the house. Okay. I because that's a very embarrassing and vulnerable position to be in. You know what I'm locked saying? in the bathroom. Meanwhile, you hear, sir. Other people need to use the restroom. <laughs> You're gonna have to go. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, no. How about you, Derek? Uh, no. Uh, however, I know that at one I was like. 21 mm-hmm. my mom did find my porno movies that i thought i'd throw <laughs> away uh we were getting re- i was getting ready to move like out of kansas i was gonna move to ohio and just kind of start over i was stressed like a motherfucker working way too much believe it or not and uh so i was just gonna move she was living in ohio i was gonna go to ohio and uh i thought i'd tossed all of it Apparently this, not. Is, this was before Pornhub, and she found like two dvds and she's like Oh, uh, I found these. I don't know where you want these at. And I was like, oh, fuck. The trash. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably shouldn't touch this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're going to want to wash your hands. Yeah. Like, that's, I've told yeah. the story on here before of my mom walking in on me and my ex. Oh, right? yes, yeah. you have. Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. I have a similar story of Derek's, though, uh, except for mine were not DVDs. Mine were something you printed off of the a fucking computer. Yes, yeah. dude. Yes, was you fucking, dirty I mean, bitch. I was, I was 14 years old, uh, you and it was boy. hilarious because my mother... Like freaked out about it. So like, he's watching porn, and my and my stepdad like talked to me about it. And he was he didn't give a shit. He was more or less just happy that it was straight porn. Straight porn, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, they're they're always happy when it's the straight That's porn. That's right. I like to imagine like somewhere like, hey Scotty, watch this, and they like rub a balloon on their head and stick it to the wall, and Scotty's like, oh yeah, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was young. Leave me alone. Uh, uh, next one. Never have I. Oh, sorry. This comes in from Matt Shartner. This is, uh, man, you got to change that last <laughs> name, bro. <laughs> he, he came on. Uh, he had a one last week. Yeah, he did he? Have yeah, one last he did. I got to yeah. change that last name. Uh, no, I think it's great. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever woken up next to a person you wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. If you were sober, <laughs> JP, I mean, <laughs> It's bound to happen sooner or later. Uh, so I went to the bar, uh-huh. the old fantasy. Uh, mm-hmm. It was when I was pre, I mean, I probably, a gay bar, by the way. Yeah. I'd probably been out and a water park. Three, uh, yeah. It's both. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, water park by day, gay bar by night. Yeah. It's, right. Same thing, really. <laughs> Uh, same thing, really. It's just really when they just hose it all down <laughs> next morning. Right. If you want to run through the sprinkler, yeah, you can. Right. Let the kids swim uh, in it yeah. later. I uh, God. went to, there's two bars. There was the fantasy side, then you walk over to the countryside. It was called the South 40. So I went over to the South 40, and there was a bartender there named Andy. And uh, one of my, ended up being one of my best friends. But uh, he got paid by one of the drag queens to just fucking get me blitzed. And I woke up the next morning in bed with the drag queen. Mm. And I don't remember how I got there. I'm sure it was because of the fucking alcohol that I was being fed. And uh, that was scary. Or roofies. I mean, either way. could I could have definitely got drugged. That's uh, probably... Definitely. Yeah. That's definitely something you I guys would do. never know. I would never yeah. know. I mean... I drug myself all the time. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that happened. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I've woken up in bed with women before and it was less startling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I, I can honestly say even in my worst, my absolute worst moments of the people that I have slept with, I have never, ever slept with a three. Have you ever, have you ever woke up and looked over it and not remembered their name? Oh, uh, I still haven't. 
on one occasion. Because <laughs> that's happened to we me call multiple her times. We call her the teacher. Uh, nice. Yeah. So that, but yeah, uh, I, but I wasn't drunk. Oh, good. <laughs> no. Yeah. You that, just didn't care. That's yeah. true. Very good. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's definitely, definitely not, uh, something I've ever done. So I bet Derek never has, but I bet Katie has <laughs> yeah. every goddamn every day. day, every day. How about you, Derek? No, I have not. You have not. No, good, good. I have not. I, uh, there was one chance where I was out, uh, I got blasted and we all went, it was me and some other people went back to my house. And then I think enough time had passed where I was a little better. Yeah. And uh, the chick, the, one of the chicks that was over there, we were going to go get breakfast for everybody and bring it, bring it back. And I guess whenever I we left, she told everybody that was at my house they needed to leave. And then we got back to my house, and they're all gone, and it's just her and I. And she's like, well, I'm not driving home. I'm going to go to bed. And I'm like, okay, well, couch is right there. <laughs> wow. She's wow. like, I'm not sleeping on the couch. I'm like, I fucking live here. Well, it's <laughs> that or the floor, on- bitch. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, I'm sleeping in the bed. I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to argue. I'll sleep on the couch. She's like, no, you can sleep in the bed too. And I'm like, all right. She raped you. So I get in bed. We're both laying in bed. And she starts fucking like yeah. poking and prodding oh, yeah. at me. And uh, I, I had a little dog at the time, and I called my dog's name, and I was like, there's my dog. I can't sleep without the dog. <laughs> and fucking rolled over and went to fucking sleep. I'm like, oh, wow. no, man. Good for you. She nice. was like fucking two weeks out of a C-section. Fuck no, I'm oh, not doing that. Wow. Well, you could have cracked her back open. No. Mm. God, no. Okay. I'm going to change. Fuck, damn it. Oh, damn near fucked a turducken. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Wow, uh, this one comes in from Dev. Dev, uh, he wants to know: Never have I ever seen my friend's asshole. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> JP, which friend? <laughs> Just a friend. I mean, not a boyfriend, a friend. Sure, I have. Okay, more than one occasion. Wow, that's great. Licked it once. That's disgusting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'd fart. <laughs> Oh, that's how you get double barrel pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gross. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. Last one comes in from Danny Martinez. He wants to know, never have I ever hooked up with a three to get out of a slump. I think I kind of blended these two together. Um, I've, I've, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've never. <laughs> and then I woke up next to him and was like, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I've never hooked up with a three. But the teacher was a five and a half. I'll give her five and a half. <laughs> slightly, slightly, slightly heavier than I would have liked. Uh, but she was cute. So I've never done it. And it got to a point like when I was younger, man, I was pretty hot. And I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to brag. I'm just saying I was, I was pretty sexy. And uh, was joke. anyway, he was five and a half. He was, I was, he was a teacher. <laughs> he was dude, a teacher. Yeah. I was a whore, man. I, I, everybody is and, at one point. But there were pe- like, if you weren't attractive, I would like I would have people show up to, to my door and be like, no. Mm-hmm. And finally, one time, this this guy gets to the fucking house. He gets out of his little S10 pickup and basically skips to the door. And he had fucking capris <laughs> on. Skips like he had like fucking khaki capris oh great and i just opened the door and i was like you know what man i said i'm just gonna say it because you know you just caught me on the right day but do you even fucking have any idea why i'm not gonna fuck you i was like you can come in we might be able to be friends but i asked you were you masculine were you femme were you and you said you were masculine and this and i was like dude do you fucking honestly believe that i was like you said hi and your purse fell out of your fucking mouth i was like (laughs) i like dudes i was like you know if we're gonna fuck and the guy was like really he's like okay we can just be friends and he came in and he we're sitting there and he put his hand on my leg and i fucking smacked it off i go i told you man it's not gonna happen i said i'm being fucking pretty honest here i'm willing to like try to be friends or whatever you want but we're not fucking doing that and he tried it again and i fucking grabbed him and i literally threw him out of my fucking house good for you but yeah so i've never slept with a three never nope okay Derek? well except for the drag queen and that wasn't my fault <laughs> <laughs> uh, no i've had some long fucking slumps i no. i always set standards i'm in one to now moon, yeah so i would never yeah no 
That's good. I think all of us have pretty good standards on this show. That's pretty awesome. Mine are getting, <laughs> mine are getting lower, lower, lower and lower, but uh, I haven't got year. there yet. You yeah. just spent the week with Scotty. We know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, well, thanks, man. That wasn't that bad. Uh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I, yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right. Uh, now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is That's Where I Draw the Line. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to kick this bad boy right off. We're going to start with Ryan Sims. He wants to know how many pairs of Crocs should one person own? Zero. Not a fucking pair. You should yeah. not have a pair of Crocs. Agreed. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Crocs are fucking stupid. I saw a video of a dude that was just so fucking stoked that he got a pair of Crocs that are like Lightning McQueen from cars and they light up when you walk on them. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, my four year old cousin. My, yeah, my four year old cousin <laughs> felt exactly the same. He was married. He's still God. trying to not get pussy. <laughs> yeah. Thought, oh, if I wore that, my wife would never fuck me. Like, <laughs> wow. That would be it. Yeah, wow. We are just not Crocs people on this show. No. It's just, I, I mean, Go for what you like. They even make little truck nuts for the back of the Crocs. Oh, yeah. They make everything for Crocs, man. And I get it. I wish I would have invented Crocs. Everybody likes their own stuff, and I totally understand. Just don't expect. But not Crocs. Just don't expect to be friends with us. Do you know that's what they wore in Idiocracy? Like back in 2001. Yeah, they 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 wore Crocs. It was fucking Crocs. Before Crocs were Crocs. Go back and look at that. Crocs didn't exist. Right. So, So, yeah, that tells you what you need to know. Uh, next one comes in from Teague McKay. He wants to know how far beyond the expiration date will you still drink or use the milk? Nope, not even not on even, the expiration Not even date. on it. Yeah, not even on it. Really? No. no. I don't drink milk. I drink chocolate milk only usually, and it goes too fast to ever be. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Spoiled. You know Jeremy Wolliver? Yeah, I remember when that. I remember that night. Oh my god, I was there that night. That was fucking great. Dude, what dude. happened? So we were at the old Looney Bin. Was it Biggs or Wiz? It was me. Oh, it was you that did it? We oh, were, I didn't know you were the one that bet him. Yeah, we were at the old Looney Bin, and, and Jeremy used to be <laughs> at the time. I think he was a server. Was he managing yet? No, he was managing. He, okay, he was yeah. managing. The he old was Looney. just not, starting not, to train. Not Joseph, Jeremy, Jeremy Wolliver. Wolliver. Okay, that he was starting to manage. I probably shouldn't say his name for first and last. Too name, late. Oh well. Too late. He was starting to manage, and he goes. uh and he'd shown me like some videos of like where he got drunk and like he's like, I'll eat anything. And he was eating like a pumpkin, like the <laughs> yeah. top of the jack o' lantern. And he's like, I don't know why, but I thought putting Worcestershire on it would make it better. <laughs> and so I, we were talking about, and I said, You know, your body will not let you drink a gallon of milk in an hour. And mm. he's like, I could totally do that. And I'm like, Dude, there's no way. Like scientifically, you cannot do it without throwing up. And he's like, I could do it. I'm like, I'll tell you what, I'll bet. If you can do it, I, it wasn't even a bet. I was like, I'll give you 50 bucks. Yeah, right. I'll, and he's like, can it be chocolate milk? I go, absolutely, sure. <laughs> which is thicker. <laughs> and so I walk to the gas station. I get two half gallons yeah. of chocolate milk, and he's like Dude, 50 he minutes drinks that in. first gallon, that first half gallon so fast. Really? So fast. Stupidly fast. The second one, not so much. <laughs> I think he maybe got like that, like a, a teeny was, bit out of the second one. Yeah. And he's like, finally, like not quite an hour. And he's like. Fuck it, I can't do it. And then he went out and he threw up. Oh. I'm like, I fucking told you, dude. Like, <laughs> science, bitch. That's right. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I will go. I will go probably like a week. I'll go a week after. Oh my goodness. Because here's no. the thing: I don't drink a lot of milk, and I don't eat a lot of cereal. But yeah. motherfucker, after we do this episode, I'm up until two o'clock in the morning, and I have to eat something, and nothing hits home like, like a pair breast of milk. Nope, like oh. like craft macaroni and fucking oh. cheese. And I am not going to go to the fucking grocery store at midnight. Yeah. I'm just not going to do it. So mm-hmm. I will go a week in advance. Next one. Uh, one last thing oh, on that real quick. It. I used to drink a ton of milk. And mm-hmm. uh, what I remember when I first had moved out on my own, my mom would like tell me to take the lid off the milk, like crush the jug, and then put the lid back on, and it doesn't take up as much room in the trash can, which I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So I think I'd had like three half gallons or something sitting out that were empty. They were all empty, and I was getting ready to take the trash out, and it had been like a week. And so I opened the half gallon to go crush it, and I remember I put it up to my chest and like smashed, and that waft of fucking weak old like teeny residue that was left in there. Oh, dude, I about fucking threw up. This is cr- it's crazy that you bring this up, and it's crazy that this came up. <laughs> 
So right now, my room may or may not smell like fucking old milk. Oh, <laughs> gross. Uh, oh, that's the worst I, so smell. I, when I, I just go to QT, that's and why you I get the, like, not pot. the half gallon, but the quarter gallon. Yeah. And normally, I drink it all, and I set it on my fucking table, and I take it out with the trash or whatever uh, the next day mm-hmm. sometimes. Well, I don't know what happened. I must have been very high. And it, I knocked, there was like that much milk left in it. Oh. And I must have knocked it off my table and it went under my bed, but I didn't realize it. And I came home last week and I was like, what the fuck is that? It, it exploded. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh. But dude, I am telling you, I have used a carpet cleaner. I have taken a brush and scrubbed. Mm-mm. It still reeks. Uh, it won't God. go. It won't stop. It won't go away. It's weird. As now it is. it's manageable. But let me tell you, um, I slept downstairs a couple times last week because it was that bad. It's, oh, as geez. weird as it is, try vinegar. I know it sounds terrible. Try, try it. it. You tried regular sure. white vinegar with a scrub brush, and that didn't do it. Not so much. Ugh. But dude, it's gone now, pretty much. But uh, dude, that shit lasts forever. Yeah, dude, it Ugh. does. It's gross. It's like I cat was, pee. Oh, yeah. worse. All right. Next one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know, uh, how buff does a girl have to be before she's unattractive? <laughs> well, I can't answer this. JP? I think the buffer they are, the hotter they are. <laughs> <'Cause> my, <laughs> I love a nice buff girl. Yeah, because my answer was going to be lesbian. That yeah. was going to be mine. Uh, yeah. yeah, so any, if they get to that point, then, uh, yeah, you know. Mine yeah, is if I, a, if I get to see veins, like, that they're oh, walking, man. I can't do it. Like, if yeah. I see the veins in your arms and they're just bolt, nah. Okay. Don't hold out on me, though, bro. Whenever China did the whole Playboy I thing. was never into that. Okay, just asking. No. Mm. Oh, yeah. I had a friend of mine that was just like, dude, you see China? She did a Playboy thing. You see her tits. I'm like, no, I don't want to. That's, uh, she's not really. Hard pass. Yeah, I'm yeah. out. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know how many notifications is too many to read and you just mark them all as red? I don't even mark them. I just clear them. That's what I mean. Like, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's what he's, I think he's saying. It's like whenever you just look at like uh, your Facebook or your TikTok or your Instagram. I'm notifications on your phone and you just look and you go fuck i'm not going through all of those oh that or you mean like the little no red the little red the little red on the icon i'm not talking about not your those. snapchat dick pics oh, i'm talking you to see some of them? nope i don't i'm talking about those little red dots I on your fucking know. phone I, I don't ever you don't ever like that no, no. Like if you get a text message dip it'll shit say like it, one with a little yeah oh, that those yeah. yes you have 353 well, on 353 your phone. 353 on my phone phone. Okay. And text messages? One. I always read them. Okay. I don't so always reply. That's a good, that's a good one because yeah. I know I know Derek's going to say fuck all to that. Yeah. I had 10,000 on my email. Yeah. Oh, I finally, that I've got a lot I finally of deleted all those and now I'm back up to 400. Oh, hey. Good job. So. Good job. I'm, I'm actually shocked you even deleted them. Text is probably quite The worst good. one I have right now is probably my email, but secondly is 18. I've yeah. got one that has 18. But like, um, let's just, 33 on my Nike. Let's stick to your text messages. Let's say text message notifications. Okay. I got 32 on text. Okay, that is, to me, that's wow. absolutely ridiculous. That is crazy. I think 10 would be a bit much. Yeah, 10 would be a bit much. And if it's 10, it's, be, it's because I am trapped in a fucking text group that I can't get out of. That's what it is. What is that? My email. Oh, where's your 10, oh, 10,008. 10, yes. <laughs> Yikes. That's where I was at just in September. Uh, I don't feel like, yeah. Yeah. So for what it's worth, it, uh, when it comes to like Instagram. I think I'll just change my email <laughs> instead. When it comes to like Instagram, uh, like comments and yeah. Facebook messages. and the mo- Instagram, I don't really look at i have to monitor bunch, all of them yeah so no, i don't but i, I just I, i'm just on threads my ex my my <laughs> nice. my ex has 20 right uh, now okay uh but for what it's worth if, if i catch if i catch a message and i say anything to respond oh, yeah you're lucky uh but uh but yeah anyways that's okay that. uh next i'm oh, sorry last one this one comes in from christian Knoll or sorry christian christian cole or coel what do you think of that is Christian Cole, cool. Christian, cool. Christian's fucking cool. He's fucking cool. Uh, that's got to be cool. He wants to know 
Uh, where do you draw the line? How many Taylor Swift shots is too many during Sunday's Super Bowl? There is no such thing. Yeah. That you can't have too many. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, what what would you rather look at? Some smoking hot chick, which I will say I think she is. That makes cute. Or uh, like 24 dudes and fucking, or 22 dudes in tight fucking pants, like running at each other. And I. Give me, uh, give me Taylor Swift. All I'm day. going for the tight pants. I know you are. Okay. Give me Taylor Swift yeah. all day. Uh, I she'd get it. I, she'd get it. <laughs> I'd, I'd, get I'd, it. Be, I'd be her three. Uh huh. A generous three. Oh, I was but gonna say. Um, something whew. tells me she hasn't been in a slump for too long. No. I don't think so. No. And if but she just, was, she's in one now currently. Yeah. But I'm surprised well. you didn't bust out the story. What story? The Slump Buster story. Oh, with Mark Grace? Yeah. That's great. I've got a ball signed by Mark Grace, and it yeah. says Slump Buster. Yeah, that's great. I nice. think that's awesome. Uh, I think uh, think for me, I, it's going to fucking happen. Travis Kelsey is going to catch a touchdown. It's going to be the game-winning touchdown, probably. And they are going to shoot that fucking camera straight to her, and she's going to be going nuts right next to Brittany Mahomes, and, uh, and I'm going to throw the remote control at the TV. That's the so. only thing I hate about it is because – I think Taylor's better than that. Why is she hanging out Way with Brittany Mahomes? Why is she hanging oh, out with that? Uh, better than Brittany, yeah. yeah. I, I, do, I do genuinely like She's Travis. She's better than that whole crew. I like I, I, do too. I genuinely I genuinely do like Travis. I do too. So Okay, well that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh yeah, we're gonna kick it right off. Uh the first one comes in from I believe it's Timothy Ginn. Could be Jen. Could be Jen. Uh, but he could wants to know, Ian. could be, could, yeah, for sure. He wants to know, what is the dumbest thing that you have ever done, drunk or sober? That drag queen. <laughs> 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 Hands down. Uh, God, I can't make that joke anymore because everybody knows how cool my wife is. But I was going to say get married. Yeah. Uh, but then again, it's like, uh, I, I do love her very, very much, but. I don't know if I if I love her so much that I need to have the government involved just in case she decides to leave me that she gets half my shit. So I'm going to go with that. Huh. Derek? This show? Okay. Uh, there you go. All right. I, I actually, or whenever I would... <laughs> you don't have to. I'd get hammered drunk if I was in a bad mood, like... And I occasionally I would go out and look for a fight, like at a bar. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go fucking, I'm mad. And so I'd go to the bar, and then I realized that I can't fight. <laughs> so I just sit there angrily in the corner drinking. That's just giving it. somebody the side eye. Yeah, just like if this motherfucker comes up to me, I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I haven't really done anything out that I'm super embarrassed about. Yeah, outside uh, of dropping two two liters in a quick trip, <laughs> 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 and then shit, that would be the worst. But we already yeah. discussed that. We so, already have, yeah. and I like it how there was actually a comment on the question, and you answered it on Facebook. Yeah, Very two. Good. The two. answer the, is the two. answer is two. Yeah. yeah, that was that is the dumbest fucking thing. I've ever done. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, next one comes in from Chris Cravens. He wants to know what are the worst songs to play during foreplay. Bump and grind. No. <laughs> no. No. It's pretty bad. She bangs by she William bangs Hung. Would be good. By That's William good Hung. Oh, no, yeah. by William Hung. Oh, she yeah. bangs. She oh, bangs. Yeah. Oh, that I love would, that guy. Fuck yes. Would be My good. wife would stop for play immediately. Pants on the ground. Uh, oh yeah. In that same kind of fucking arena. Uh, oh yeah. How about you, Derek? I don't know. Maybe that I like to move it, move it song. <laughs> I like to I move it. I don't know if it. I could really concentrate and like, I like yeah. to oh, move it. I don't know. I'd be sitting uh, there dude, getting my dick From now on, that's <laughs> all I'm going to play. From now on, that's all I'm going to play. <laughs> I like it. If I ever have sex again. Uh, all right. Next one comes in actually from Brandon. I believe it's uh, Laterte, I believe. And I'm sorry if I pronounce that incorrectly. But he is from Let's Derek's. Hey. Leterte. It probably is because this is coming from Derek's home country. This is from yeah. uh, Sydney, Nova Scotia, home, Canada. Home province. That's home province, yeah. too. That's right. Uh, he wants to know, or he, he, he let us know. He goes, uh, we just hit a record-breaking 135 centimeters 50, I don't know how much that 53 is. inches. He he corrected himself right there. 53 That's inches. That's why I measure my dick in centimeters. Don't you sounds fucking huge. Use centimeters, I was just getting ready to say fucker. 135 centimeters sounds like a good Saturday night. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Uh, but they had 53 inches of snow in two wow. days. God Holy fuck. Damn it. Uh, how is that even possible? I don't know. Uh, but he says, aside from shoveling, what would you guys do being trapped inside? Uh, call all the restaurants and ask if their patios open. <laughs> good, good. That's, I would do the same thing I always do: smoke pot and play video games. 
Yeah. You'd probably be snowboarding. I can. I'm snowed in. No, you can find a way out. You think so? Yeah. I, I could make a tunnel. Do whatever I, you got to do. I could bro. tunnel. You could tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Dragging your snowboard. <laughs> Secret tunnel. <laughs> That's fucking right. I probably would. Jesus Christ, dude. Hope That's you had a, a good time. That's a lot snow. of fucking snow. I can tell you that's actually like a really big fucking danger in places like that. Yeah. Because they know when a huge snowstorm's going, everybody goes to the grocery store like it's oh, fucking yeah. COVID again and just take yeah. everything. Fucking crazy. Uh, next one. Uh, this is another one from Ian Hodder. Uh, he wants to know what's the worst place to tell your family that you have cancer in my ass in the butt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say in the butt. No doubt about it. Yeah, that's it. Joint joke. How about you there, Derek? Oh, I was thinking like you were declaring where you actually let them know that you have it. And I was going to say the family orgy. Oh, gross. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> Yikes. not good. That's going to uh, disappoint some people. Yeah, that's bad. Or at someone else's funeral. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who yeah, just passed like away from mid, cancer. Mid eulogy. You're like, look, I know we're here to talk about Ron. Oh, but, but I just got diagnosed. Yeah. yeah. So that bad. would be bad. Oh, man. But, but this mole <laughs> yeah, is <you> malignant. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's so bad. Uh, <laughs> like just something so small. Yep. Uh, here's a good question. I kind of like this. This is uh, this comes in from John Wiggins. He wants to know, if you guys could change your careers, what would you change it to? That's tough. I mean, it's really easy for me. Gay stripper? No, I mean. Oh. You'd just be a stripper. I could but, be oh. anything, and it beats yeah. what my career now is. <laughs> I'm a 46-year-old waiter. Oh, yeah? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Server, give yourself some credit. Mm, yeah. I want to uh, I, I be the driver for the Jamaican bobsled team. That's what I want to be. I want to be Dave Letterman. Uh, if I could do anything I wanted to do, no, I would want to be a talk show he's host. He's dead. He's almost dead. No, he's no, not. He's, he's getting old. Not even close. He's getting up there. Yeah, but I'm just saying uh, that's 47. what I would want. Is he really? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. That puts on. He looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> he looks bad. No, he but did. that's, dude, that's a great one. I would, what I would do. I would love to be I a talk show love. host. Be, uh, be fucking amazing. Yeah. Or a podcast host. That'd be fucking great. Well, congratulations, man. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Uh, when I was a kid, I was like, the kids say the fucking weirdest shit. <laughs> and I'm going to go with this. My dad, my dad asked me what I wanted to do when I grew up. And uh, he said, for money. And I said, I'm, I'm going to win the lottery. And my dad's like, well, that sounds like a pretty good plan, but what if, what if that doesn't work out? What, well, what do you want to do? Then I'm going to be a 46 year old no. server. I said uh, I want to be a I want to be a black basketball player. <laughs> oh, there you so, go. There you go. I think I was like five. Dude, don't give up on your dreams. I'm man. not. I'm going to stick with that. You should. And you know what he said? I think that sounds like a good plan. (laughs) (laughs) Father of the year. And then he went and told all of his friends. Like that. And so I'm sticking with it. Now, I've got to work on my ball handling skills. You should. You definitely need and, to. And, and my jump, my jumping. And, and your tan. Yeah. And, and your shot. And my, well, no, my and shot's your, there. And your running. Yeah. Well, definitely the running. Yeah, for I've sure. Have you ever seen Derek but run? It's gotta, awesome. I need to learn to dunk. Yeah. This is what I need to learn to do. No, uh, I'm surprised you can't. I know. I know. I was going to wait to have him on the show, but this is a true story. My best friend is a black guy that I've been playing basketball with since we were six years old. I'm so jealous. And we can, and, and, and he would come over to my house and we would lower the basketball and goal. Dunk on it. Uh, so, so he could dunk, but I had to have a fucking cooler to stand on. To dunk. Nice. I had to run up, stand and on the stand cooler and dunk. And dunk. Yeah, they, that's did not, awesome. they did not have to. Uh, anyways, uh, next one, uh, this comes in from Frank Garcia. He wants to know, uh, Super Bowl ads that did not make the cut this year. He also added Derek. I expect comedy gold out of this. Oh, you got high expectations here, Jack. I, I got, <laughs> I got one and only one that popped into my head almost immediately. Okay. And that is Jones barbecue foot massage. Jones barbecue <laughs> foot massage. <laughs> That's an oldie, but a goodie. Look it up. Uh, any of you guys have anything? I, I don't think, expect you to, but I think maybe like two guys hanging out, drinking beer in the basement. They're playing Madden. Mm-hmm. It's getting fucking fierce and they're fucking yelling back and forth. They're talking a bunch of trash. Mm-hmm. One guy like almost fucking rage quits. He gets so fucking mad. And the other guy's like, dude, relax. It's, it's just a fucking game. Calm down. And then they go into this deep conversation and then all of a sudden they kiss and then Bud Light. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I like it. Love it. I think that. Or 
Maybe like a guy jumps out of an airplane and he's skydiving and it looks like this extreme Mountain Dew commercial and then it fucking cues back to the plane and it's a Boeing 747. <laughs> and the hatch <laughs> blew off. Yeah. And he's not, he doesn't have a shoot. Yeah. He just fucking, yeah. Way I to love go. it. That's good. Anything for you, JP? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Uh, last but certainly not least, I like this one. People who make you laugh when you think of them taking a shit. Chris Farley. Oh, <laughs> yeah! I like it. Oh. I like it. I think that would be hilarious. Just <laughs> he could, man, dude. He would make it funny. Oh, one hundred percent. He would totally make it funny. Um, I this is stupid, but I I think it would be hilarious if you had you actually had two people taking a shit in the stall right next to each other, and one of them is Rosie O'Donnell. And Roseanne Barr, and they're just fucking yelling at each other while they're shitting. I think that would be absolutely hilarious. Okay. How about you, Derek? Anybody? God, I don't know. I would. I would say like Wee Man from Jackass, but I feel like we might have seen that already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. Any of those guys? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Maria Bamford. Okay. I like <laughs> that it. Might be. That, that would be good. That might be interesting. Okay. I also thought Betty White. Betty White would be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> it's just all the golden go- girls. Yeah, right. Everybody's That'd be a great gonna be episode. Looking, everybody's going to be like, who the fuck's Maria Bamford? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, well, that is all of the questions and perguntas for this week. Thank you guys so very much for uh, participating in Month Day Fun Day. I post that every single Monday. Uh, if you have any good suggestions for this week's segments, uh, put them on there and comment on there. And if we like them, we will put them on the show and give you a shout out. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, just so you guys are aware, my wife won last week. Wow. Holy shit. It's like they voted for her to spite me. That's what I did. I'm sure you did. <laughs> so did everybody else. But that's pretty awesome. I usually vote for myself. Yeah, but did you vote for her? Don't lie. I did. There you go. <laughs> 100%. That's pretty awesome. Thank you guys very much. I am not going to steal the victory, though, uh, because she is, well, she's not on the show. She's here, but she's not on the show. Uh, but that uh, technicality means that JP kind of got the win right there. At least for today. Winning. Yeah, that's right. You can, all you do is win. Uh, but because I was dead last, uh, I don't even think I showed up on a lot of the voting, period. So uh, that'd be dead last for me. I get sandwich picks, and since Derek wasn't here, he gets the first overall pick. And this week, uh, we are going to do a draft of the worst pets' names. So your worst dog names, cat names, all that shit. Okay. Okay. Derek, uh, you get the number one pick. What is your going to be? 101, sir. What's that? Oh, what's going to be my number yeah, one? Yeah, what's going to be one on one? I talked about it uh, on the show a while back about a terrible name for a dog, and mm. I'm going to go with it. Rape. <laughs> rape. <laughs> rape. <laughs> Again, if that dog gets lost, rape. Yep. That uh, kind of goes with my pick as well. Uh, and I am just going to spell it <laughs> because I don't want to say it. Oh, no. Because you don't want to yell it because uh, you, it could be mistaken for something else, if you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, it's Okay, I'll say it. It's Nika, N-I-C-K-A. Oh, so not like what you actually name your dog. No. <laughs> No, it's close to what you named your it, dog. It is close, but it's <laughs> not. Uh, but you could start some shit if you know what I'm saying. Uh huh. Don't do that. Okay. I didn't do what you brought up many episodes ago, uh, and that is Steve Kerr's son. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh huh. I yeah. So, anyways, JP, you get two in a row. Al Cabone. Al Cabone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. And uh, Pepe Le Paw. <laughs> Pepe oh, Le Paw. I'm the only one going dark here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not done. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going to go with cops. 
Okay. Same concept. All cops! Right. Cops! All right. All right. <laughs> that's mine. Oh, that's a good one. Thanks, man. I appreciate okay. it. Well, it looks like Scotty won't be winning again this week. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> that's, I don't ever win anymore. I've lost the love. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Stir fry? Stir fry. Oh. <laughs> All right. I like it. Okay. I like it. And your next pick. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, it's tougher than you thought. No. Uh, uh, let's go with. We'll go with Dahmer because he'll eat anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Nice. Uh, You're going to win. Yeah, Fuck you. You are. <laughs> Not necessarily. Al Cabone is a good That's one. That's a good one. Yeah. I liked it. Uh, this is actually a real pet of a friend that I had, uh, or that he had, and everybody in their family hated him, but they believe the same thing that I believe, that if you take the ownership of a dog, it's a responsibility from the beginning to all the way to the end. See it to the end. But they uh, changed his name from, like, Sluggo to Shithead and uh, called him Shithead forever. That's what I call my dog. See? Shithead. Shithead is the is the dog's name, and uh, they had to put it down. So there you go. Well, there you go. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. That was from Scrody. the Scrody. Ooh, Scrody. Okay. God damn it. That's a good one. <laughs> and Maya butt reeks. <laughs> <laughs> Maya butt reeks. Okay. Uh, I'll fix that. And uh, let's see. I'm going to go with Tardo. Okay. Tar- Tardo. Tardo. <laughs> He's like one of those dogs with a tub who just always hangs out the side of his mouth. Yeah. You know he was a rescue. <laughs> yeah, he's a no. rescue for yeah. sure. Oh. Poor dog. Uh, Poor Tardo. How about Derek? You get your last two in a row. Uh, let's go with Tunnel Buddy. Tunnel Buddy. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's terrible. <laughs> oh. 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 There are so many people out there that are younger and don't know what that is. It's not good. It's uh. not good. Poor dog. Ugh. Well, I guess it's probably not that bad. It's you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's you. It's not me. It's you. Oh, How about you, Derek? What's the last one? Uh, Munty. Oh, damn uh, it. Oh. Wow, wow. And there is There's the, the, win. the win. Oh, fuck. Way to go, you piece of shit. What, um, to take munting from you? No, okay. I wasn't going to think of that, but okay. that's a good, uh, that was like, you just thought that up at the very last second, yeah, didn't like, you? Yeah, they're like, how'd sure. you come up with his name? Wow, well, <laughs> funny story. Funny story. <laughs> Let me tell you about how I met your mother first. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, fuck. That last one's pretty good, too. I'm going to go with, oh, fuck. God damn it. I don't have a damn thing. I, I'll go with Orphan. Okay. <laughs> oh, orphan. What if you just named it Rescue? Yeah. <laughs> like you're just some uppity fucking kid. Oh, this is Rescue. Is yeah. it your Rescue? Well, yeah. Uh-huh. It's just yeah. how I can introduce him all the time so everybody knows. Yep. I like it. JP, what's your last one, bud? Matt Shartner. <laughs> Matt Shartner. Very good. Oh, poor dog. I thought you were going with Nick Nelson. <laughs> yeah, almost. I was just, it was between the two. Oh, uh, man. That, uh, do we have any honorable mentions? Nick Nelson. Nick Nelson? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a real one. Yeah. Yeah. And we grew up in Kansas. A lot of my friends were rednecks. And so uh, it's a true story that happens. And it goes kind of along the lines with my very first one I picked. But for some crazy reason, a lot of the you know the rednecks that I used to hang out with when we were younger, they are now naming all of their dogs Trigger. Oh. Same concept. Yeah. You kind of don't know what you're saying when you're yelling that out if it's yeah. from far away. Right. So don't do that. Right. So, But okay. a lot of them do that. So. Yeah. Uh, I have a buddy that named his dog D-O-G. I, dude, yeah. I, I have a, a neighbor that yeah. named his dog D-O-G. Yeah. And I think that's dumb. Stupid. Yeah. Anything there, Derek? No, I think I got all mine. You think you did get all yeah. yours? You good, good job, buddy. Piece of shit. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji uh, to the best list of the worst. We're going to go with dog names. Yeah, that's fine. Sounds good. Let's go with dog cool. names. Uh, you can also go to uh, Twitter slash X, which is at LOT sidelines and also vote there. 
Uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. Whoever wins next week, uh, I don't know, gets a mouthy from JP. All right. I there hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he can do that. I can, as long as somebody's holding my ankles. He loves telling that story. Uh Uh, But anyways, guys, uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and... Rapper misdemeanor Mike, <laughs> absolutely, hey. yeah, he's got yes. a new album out. I he hear sure he does. does his new album uh, in Beslin <laughs> <laughs> is nice. out. Uh, you, it's going to have some hot tracks on there. Uh, he's got the new dance. Uh, it's good. It's a single and a dance goes with it called the Jaywalk. Uh, <laughs> Love it. Another some of the tracks have been le- leaked. Obviously, oh for sure. Uh, yeah, we also have shoplifting the pussy. <laughs> oh uh, God, uh, fix it ticket. <laughs> Uh, crunk in public. Right. Uh, perjury pimp. Nice. Uh, trespass dad ass. <laughs> <laughs> and graffiti king. Yeah, so, like very it. good. Nice. Uh, yeah. Be ready for Go that. Go check that out. Yeah. yeah. Available on Spotify and all your other. I yes. Do. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Be looking for the video for the Jaywalk. Oh, yeah. You can learn how to you do it. You learn how to do the Jaywalk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very I good. fully expect that the next time you're on the show <laughs> that you have the fucking dance. Oh, yeah. The one, jaywalk? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, we got to go out in the street to do it, though. That's fine. 100%. Yeah. 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 Uh, boy. Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this week's shitty situation actually comes in from a suggestion. Uh, this actually comes in from Connor Cassell, and I like it. Uh, his shitty situation is, would you rather go to someone else's house for the Super Bowl and leave them with a mess or host it at your house so you can get as blackout drunk as you would like, but you have to clean up the mess. Well, I'm going to the easy, other person's yeah, house all day. No doubt. That's Are an you? easy one. Really? For sure. Well, first of all, I don't drink. This is true. So I can get as high as I want wherever I'm at, <laughs> and I don't have to clean up the mess. Fuck yeah. Okay. Not to mention a Super Bowl party in my room isn't going to be the most fun thing anybody's ever done. You're right. I mean, you know what yeah. I mean? Oh, hey, yeah. come on in. No, no, we're not having the party here. We're going up to my room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. That'd be a boring Super Bowl party. Maybe. You don't even have a Maybe TV not. up there. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No <laughs> to- big deal. To- totally fine. I've got a radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to it. You'd be like, I just want to take some photographs. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh, Jesus. And Derek, you said uh, also. You oh, yeah. I'll leave the mess because, A, uh, not so much about. Uh, like having to clean up a mess. I don't necessarily want to get blackout drunk. This yeah. is true. I don't know what I'm going to say or do. Yeah, true. that's, so oh, that's a good I'm, point. I'm not so much concerned. I'll come over and help the fucking guy clean the mess up. Yeah. I just don't want to be blacked out to where it's like, what I say? Did I really <laughs> yeah. say that? Yeah. Dude, you're... Your five-year-old daughter is not a whore. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. I didn't mean it when I said that. Oh, like, Jesus. She is not a cunty <laughs> uppity bitch. I promise. Oh, fuck. She wow. is an angel, and she's great at math. Oh, goodness. <laughs> she must, must be Brian's daughter. <laughs> oh, you know what? Honestly, I thought I had the cheat code. I thought yeah. I really did. I was going to say I would rather host. <clears throat> I would rather host because then... I can do whatever I want, and I don't have to worry about cleaning up the mess because my wife yeah, would right. have to do it yeah. for me. Yeah, that's, that's true. Did. That's a good point. However, Derek brought up an extremely good point. Once you reach the age, age of like 35, when you get blackout drunk, the next two days fucking suck yep. so bad. Like hangovers are not just something that you can walk true. off anymore. It's true. It hurts yeah. for two fucking days. Yeah. So I'm going to go over to somebody else's house, and I'm going to be respectful, and I'm going to help them clean up. You guys want to come over to my room for the Super Bowl? Not even a little bit. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Sure don't. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, Damn. I uh, – and anyway, and, I promise and, the milk smell will be so, gone by then. Yeah, I'm sure it <laughs> yeah, is. you're going to make a new one. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what... Uh, Chocolate. So what do we got for Super Bowl plans? Does anybody do anything fun? We always go to... Uh, we end up usually going to the same fucking little bar. Yeah. Uh, Mulligan's. Oh, yeah. But that place is so run down yeah. now, and the TVs fucking suck. You know, I used to be part owner of that. I used to be part owner of that. Did you really? Mm-hmm. 
It used to be a really fun bar. That's what? when I owned it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not, I'm sure. Yeah. I uh, but man, it's gone downhill so bad. It smells like an old foot in there, and uh-huh. I'm hoping I'm hoping to not go there. Sure. I think we'll probably go to AJ's. Like the I mean Bolero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bar. It is. No, it's like a snack bar. No, I I, I won't. It's got a full menu: pizza, fuck fucking that place, drinks, no, beers. Ruined it. They fuck that. They place. did ruin it. They ruined it. That was my go-to bar. That they was, did ruin it. That was the no, cheers. You're not wrong. That was my cheers setting. AJ's was great. It was great. It's still the same place, no, man. Way. Not the same. No. Been there. It's done way that. more expensive too. That too. Yeah. But so, no, but no. all right. But you do. You're you. right though. You no, you're 100 percent right. Good for you, man. I'm. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna get out of here. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm never coming back. I. Uh, I we're gonna do it kind of, kind of low. Uh, you low know, key. we're low key. We're gonna go over to my brother's house, who doesn't give a shit about football, uh, and uh, his fiance, who I love dearly, but is a fucking Chiefs fan. And so, if they win, I'm gonna get to hear it from her. So, awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great, Derek. I'm not gonna watch it. I figured you would. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, everybody out there, hope you guys have a very safe Super Bowl. If you are going elsewhere and making a mess at somebody else's house, help them pick it up. Uh, but better yet, if you're going to get fucked up, uh, make sure you have somebody drive you. Don't uh, you know? Don't be like Patrick Mahomes' dad and get another DUI. Damn, shots home. fired. That's right. Uh, uh, also, pew. he's got a cameo on Misdemeanor uh, Mike's. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Very good. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you guys so very much for doing what you're doing. The show continues to grow. Can't believe it. Um, but yeah, uh, keep doing what you're doing. And as we always like to say, do us a favor and tell a friend if you like us. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope there's a huge glitch. And uh, instead of showing the Super Bowl, it's actually just a live feed of Taylor Swift the entire game. Fuck! <laughs> if you don't like us... You tell your enemy. And until next time, guys... Shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing at We will see y'all later. Take care.